So we started installing Unify Video a few years ago. We were really happy with it. We, it was a innovative product, the way the system sold, where we could get the NVR software and run it on whatever hardware of our choosing. We could then buy the cameras and the NVR software only supported their cameras, so that was kind of their business model. You buy our cameras, we give you the software for free without any license per camera. This seemed pretty reasonable. Also, no recurring fees and you self-host it, et cetera, et cetera. All the right you know, things people were looking for in an NVR system combined with a nice interface that was easy to use compared to a lot of NVRs. And it fit the, you know, reasonably budget market. So this was a great selling point for small businesses. So we went to work selling these in small businesses. We're like, this is a good product. I then did a lot of videos about said product. And, uh, you know, we had some big installs and we had fun talking about this and setting them up and configuring them and like everything about the NVR we really liked. And then came August of 2018 and they had the new version come out called Unify Protect, and we were excited, except they said what will happen to Unify Video 3. We're committed to support existing UF V3 installations. And we said, okay, that sounds cool, but what about the hardware? And there was you know, a lot of speculation on this because one of the challenges is it only ran on one of these, this little Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. I'm like, okay, but this only has one hard drive, and that's not a lot. So, you know, this was one of those concerns we had right away going, well, okay, they're going to come out with better servers. They're going to come up with something bigger. And here in October of 2019, they still haven't. But they have, just like they say here over on the FAQ page, they have stuck to, we're committed to support existing installations, and they'll continue to receive security updates, bug fixes, and support any new G3 camera models, which this is all true. And we updated to the latest version, and it does support the new camera models. But then they did this, and this is where all of us are getting angry, is it says upgrade to Unify Protect, premium scalability, one cloud key plus manages up to 20 cameras. Now the challenge with this is we have a lot of installations we did for businesses. We built a custom high-end server that has a lot more than 20 cameras on it. So they're getting this prompt and that won't work for them. You're advertising to a client to replace hardware we sold them that's not dated or aged yet and works fine, but won't work in this ad that then if you hit upgrade now, it takes you to the Unify Protect. And yeah, that's it. That's it's on the page here in October, 2019. And I reviewed this and I had commented before that one of the challenges is if you just use a standard single hard drive, it should probably be an SSD because once you start connecting a bunch of cameras, it, you know, the read write is only so fast on a single camera uh, and single hard drive, it, it just has some issues there. And that's why it only supports up to 20. And I don't think you could really get 20 G4 Pros on there. So let's look, talk about this. And I, I love the snarkiness of technicians sometimes. You know, they talk about how they uh, went from 3.10.7 to 3.10.8 and it added a cookie. So, you know, it stops uh, prompting the user. And this person has an excellent suggestion here. It says, I've actually come up with a 100% effective fix for this bug where it keeps prompting people. Don't put an advertisement in there. I'm all for that. And of course, there is even more snark and anger going on uh, with all these, you know, Reddit, over here. There's just a lot of anger and I don't blame them. Uh, I you know, kind of added to this. I've talked about this in the past that we have done all these installs and it's kind of a shame that, you know, one, they're abandoning it and it's okay. They're at least doing bug fixes, but now to put an advertise in uh, doesn't really make any sense to me. And I'm not someone who uh, it tries to have any absolute loyalty to a company, but you know, you invest a lot of time in a product. Uh, yeah, you, you kind of become like a little bit of a cheerleader for them for a while until they turn on you. And you kind of are betraying a lot of us people who were loyal Unify fans, but they Unify video and going, hey, you know, I get it. Product changes and there's, you know, revenue uh, marks you have to meet. You're a publicly traded company, et cetera, et cetera. And I've been accused of being a Unify fanboy of as, as if there was no problems with Unify. But one of the challenges I did see and one of the arguments I had for their product and even moving to their own hardware was I, a lot of times when we've done consulting work with Unify, all oh, this Unify video video is crap. Yeah, someone dragged out their old uh, box they were going to throw away through Unify Video on there and they can't believe a, you know, a five-year-old machine can't handle 20 cameras. Yeah, I get it. And I know that was some of the support challenges from Unify standpoint, so I will defend that position of giving people their own hardware to do it. People don't always spec the hardware properly. And trust me, when you put a server in that has, you know, over 50 cameras on it, you need the ability to handle the kind of bandwidth and ability to handle the number of read write instances that occur. And when you have a bunch of users viewing it, you need a processor to handle all the streams in and out. So there is some capacity planning and that server was expensive to build for our clients, which brings me back to advertising for them and 
creating chaos a little bit. I'm not gonna exaggerate so like some of these people might be here, but yeah, having a client call and say, what's this upgrade? You updated the software. Because just like Unify is committed to upgrading the software, we then update the software for our clients. We manage these systems for us. So now we're getting a few calls from clients who are weirded out by an upgrade that tells them to buy a little box right here that won't do what our big box we sold them will do. And of course, when you only installed something in you know 2018, customers are saying it's a year old. Why is it prompting me to upgrade? Did you not do the upgrade? Some of them think it's another software upgrade. Some of them think it's an update. It's, it's creating some confusion. I don't need more phone calls on uh, silly things like this. So Unify, if you want to reach out to me, you know where to find me. If you uh, want to leave some rage in the comments below, go ahead. And I'm hoping there's some happy resolution. At least just get rid of the ad. I get it that you're moving to the Protect software and one day there will be some other hardware. And yes, I know there's probably something in beta. We don't talk about the beta stuff here uh, that's coming out for Unify. And then, like I said, I have no, by the way, I've never been paid, and this has come up, I've seen in comments, I've never been paid by Unify for anything. They do send me products occasionally for review. Um, matter of fact, this G4, uh, I think this one, we actually bought a bunch too, uh, but we did get a G4 for review that was you know, sent to us. This was sent to us from Unify, but that does not mean I am, uh, committed to the company no matter what they do. And I'm not going to defend them on this position because I don't think this is defensible to have my, you know, user base prompted. And of course, as you can tell by the angry people who have installed a lot of these Unify systems, we are all kind of upset by this. I don't, you know, I, like I said, you know where to find me if you want to uh, maybe do this. Of course, public apologies are awesome. Uh, you can apologize by having the next update remove that. That would be, well, I don't know if that's really an apology. That would at least make us a little bit happier. Um, but I'll leave this up, uh, you know, if you want to carry on the discussion in the forum, leave some rage comments below in the YouTube here. Uh, I'm fine with either way. You know, and uh, it's one of the reasons we really haven't sold a lot of these new Unify systems um, because uh, this path doesn't, especially with the Unify video, um, it just doesn't make sense. And of course, we still do a lot of larger camera projects where people have 50 or 100 cameras. Unify doesn't even have a path for that anymore. Maybe one day, but it's been a year um, and we still only have officially this that it's that the Unify Protect supported on. It just falls out of solution for people that want these larger installs. Still good for home users? Yeah, if you want a Unify Protect system, because someone's gonna ask this, uh, and you only want two cameras at your house or four cameras at your house or your pizza place and you wanna put five cameras in, these still are not bad. You know, when you know those are the limitations and that's all you wanna do with it, great. Uh, but for some of the commercial clients, you know, that mid-range where they go, I need 40 cameras, yeah, this is a hard, the Unify video route and 40 cameras, that's not gonna run on this. So, all right, thanks and leave your thoughts below. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.